What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we are on video five in this series of the SSI Boat Diver Specialty Course. Now as we stated in all of our other videos, please do not use this video to go out and dive off a boat. Simply use this as a review session to help pass your final exam. But with that being said, let's jump into chapter five and let's see what some of our finishing up procedures are when you dive off a boat. So now that we're back on the boat and we finished our dive, we want to make sure that we always check in. Check in with the boat crew or the captain so that they know that we're back on board. There's usually going to be a diver checklist where you can go over and check your name off or they will call out your name and you simply answer up. We always want to make sure that we do this so that they know that we're back on board so that they're not out here searching for us. And by using the diver checklist, this also helps us prefer by preventing to getting lost at sea. So always make sure you check back in with the dive master or the boat crew or even the captain once you're back on board. Next up, we're going to talk about stowing your equipment. It's very important that you stow your equipment so it does not get lost. You want to make sure you put your cameras in the right rinse bucket and your mask in the right rinse bucket, but you want to make sure that you keep your gear together. As everybody's getting back on board, as we stated in a previous chapter, a lot of times they just kind of pile gear together. They'll throw everybody's fins in a pile, and if they're mar not marked, then it's going to be very difficult to actually determine whose fins are whose. So make sure you keep your gear in your designated area, and that way you make sure you keep it in good working order and that you don't lose it as well. Next up, we want to make sure that we log our dive. Now, whether you use a paper log or you use a digital log or you just simply use the log book on your dive computer, make sure you log your dive. That's going to be great for you in the future to help you understand how much weight you need. Maybe it's your first time in salt water, but it's also going to help document your experience, whether you're doing it for your own personal use or you're doing it for training purposes. If you are doing training and your instructor needs to sign off, this is a great time for him to do it as well. You can review the dive and become better for your next dive in the future. Now, if that was just your first dive that you finished up, now it's time to actually change gear or change out cylinders for your next dive. And this is a great time to do it. You've already checked in. You've got all your gear kind of organized in your own area. Take the time now to go ahead and change out cylinders. If you need help, the local dive master or the boat crew or even the captain can help you do so. All you've got to do is simply ask for it. Now, hopefully you and your buddy can do this on your own, but if you're in a class, maybe even your instructor can help you out as well. Once you've got it tested or switched out, make sure you you test your system to make sure it's working. Make sure you've got plenty enough gas to make the next dive and make sure that you are planning this dive based off your own personal gas management. Now, if that was your last dive of the day, now that you've got your stuff put away and you're back in normal clothes, it is time to tip the crew. And yes, I did say tip the crew. We've got an entire video designated on how you should tip and when you should tip and even how much you should tip the dive crew. And yes, even as an instructor, I still personally tip my dive crew, whether it's a dive master or even the captain himself. And I'm gonna link that video down below. Check it out if you wanna learn a little bit more about tipping a dive crew when you're out diving abroad. So guys, that's going to do it for chapter five in this series on boat diving. And we really hope this series opens your eyes and we hope that it's educational to you. We hope you learned something from it. And we really believe that you can learn from the SSI boat diver program. So make sure you're checking out your local SSI training center and talk to the local SSI boat diving instructor there. He may have a little bit of different insight than what I am. If he's in the tropics and I'm here in a local inland area, he may have a couple of different tips and tricks that may help you as well. But guys, this is a great course that can apply towards your specialty diver, your advanced diver, and even your master diver certification level. So make sure you're checking out the SSI Boat Diver Program. Guys, we really hope this review session is a great thing for you to pass your final exam. And if it is, give us a big thumbs up. If you learned something throughout the series, let us know down in the comment section below if this video helped you. But that's going to do it for this series and this video. Until our next one, take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.